so um, and let's say I'm, I'm originally from Ukraine and in our case in our country we would also would consider that it's more like a female role to take care of the kids all the time uh, with this kind of this trend changing how do you see it will be like in the future again uh, more in this case male can be um, taking care of kids because we you, can you say that this is like male empowerment movement to take care of your of their kids and more uh, female especially if they're on sea level job they will be staying and going um, and do their jobs what do you think how will we see this trend shifting I mean I uh, I can't I can't speak to I think like changing and uh, you know norms in a family but I, I think by providing both partner with with different opportunities then it gives a family more choice and you know and if a man doesn't want to work and that's i think that's fine if the woman wants to stay home for a period of time that's fine i think just by be having more flexible policies you then create kind of more opportunity for both i i think what we found is we have to be flexible in the way that we deliver the training because at the moment, the way it stands, we haven't reached that tipping point. So we have, we're, that's why we're working around traditional working hours and working in the off hours um, to, so that women can try and do it all you know, when, you know, when they have a time in the day that they can actually focus on their startups and their businesses. Oh, in this case, uh, yeah. did you want to add something? Um, when we are talking, by the way, our stage is deep media stage. So one of the most important things that we're discussing here is the intersection of media and AI. And we are, like, we are discussing this like from very different aspects, taking into account the ethics of AI and others. Um, and we actually, throughout the years, we can see that actually media is dominated quite often by women as well. Uh, but do you think that with AI progressing, becoming more advanced and used in media industry, what kind of opportunities will it provide for more women professionals entering the space? But, yeah, yeah I, I can I can answer that. So, I think AI is changing everything; it's shifting everything. And so we're seeing, as one of the speakers were saying before, consumers are becoming creators. So you could start your own YouTube channel. You could become the you know the news anchor on Instagram. So all of that shift in consumer behavior is also positively impacting um, the end user, which could be women as well. And so you don't need to go through that system in order to enter the media industry. So it's kind of becoming democratized. Um, and so that's, that brings up opportunities. But I think what's, what's very important, a lot of times we talk about women in STEM and upskilling and reskilling women in AI. I don't think that by itself will solve the problem because you know, you don't need to teach me about the specifics of AI. You need to teach me about how it's going to impact me and my work and the industry and the future of the industry. And by giving me those options of how I can um, avoid being disrupted, that's going to help me to advance. And so um, I think that there's an opportunity for many women to, to stay in this field and to even enter this field without having to go through the, the, the system that was there before. Um, I, I, th I think Sahar answered it wonderfully. Um, I think it's about, yeah, giving, again, women more choice in this case, the new kind of jobs coming out of it. Um, it may be not directly related to media, and I'm sorry, I know you keep trying to bring it back to media, but uh, I think just opportunity-wise... Well, AI if, like, to be fair, I will just add, Meta is also about social media. Let's I be realize. frank. <laughs> I in work in case, public policy. Okay. <laughs> I don't do anything on the media fans, but fair, very fair. Um, no, I, I was just going to say, I think in, in terms of, of jobs and opportunities, what's also been interesting about AI is obviously it's leading to more uh, jobs being automated. Um, and I think, you know, there's the worry about automation, but I think that there are also maybe jobs that women tended to have that maybe women didn't love as much, let's say, that, uh, that can now be automated and it allows for greater creativity, different jobs, different skills. And so there, there's an opportunity in that sense that of course could relate to media, but could relate to other jobs as well. Thank you. Actually, uh, here I would, like, I would like just to add, 
Um, because if we think about that from the perspective of productivity, um, how can we make sure that AI is just help to automate some of the processes that we don't like to do, but the creativity is not dead? Add, like add the human aspect to it, yeah. right? So yeah. I, I th that's my personal opinion. I feel like we could use AI as a tool, but we, we need our personal creativity. So if you look at industries such as film, entertainment, the media, what is the future of these industries? Are we just going to see AI-created films? Are we you're just going to see AI-created um, you know, comedy shows? But if you look at, uh, for example, in Bahrain, we've had... Um, famous comedians come, it was fully booked from, from day one. You couldn't, it's sold out. People are craving this human, you know, I could go and watch a recording, but it's a very different experience when I go there and I listen to the comedian and I'm with people and I'm connecting. And I, I, I hope that the future of media and entertainment is not going to be fully AI. Thank you. Helen. Yeah, I, I think, you know, as, as Sahara has already said, look at this week, amazing week in Riyadh and gathering people that are passionate about technology and changing the world. And so, you know, the, the, the conversations and the interactions and the random meetings and even this panel, you know, we've bonded over being here this week. I think our, you know, we're going to continue probably to be connected forever. And so I think, you know, you can't, you, I don't think AI can, can displace that, you know, that, connect, that personal connection. And um, it, it'll probably do a lot of things very, very well. But I still think at the end of it, you know, creativity is going to come from, it, it can help accelerate certain things. But I still think, you know, that I, I still think there's a place in it for, in, you know, for people and creativity. Thank you.